What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Vlogmas! you guys are really enjoying vlogmas this far if you are new definitely subscribe down below to follow along with my vlogmas i also post weekly videos and i also post travel videos so it's very fun around here today's video is going to be a thrift with me and a thrift haul you guys love when i post hauls it's like my top video every time is hauls and thrift hauls so Today's video is a thrift haul. Starting off, I went thrifting with my friend Taylor at Uptown Cheapskate. So if you've never heard of Uptown Cheapskate, it is kind of like a Plato's Closet where they buy clothes from people who bring them in, but they also buy wholesale and different things like that, I'm pretty sure. And it's just a big mix of lots of good stuff. So we're gonna start with my Uptown Cheapskate thrifting and haul. Okay, you guys, welcome back to Vlogmas. Taylor's here and we are thrifting, so I'm filming a thrift with me today. We are at Uptown Cheapskate um, at the Easton Mall in Columbus, Ohio, and we are gonna be thrifting all kinds of things, so I'm bringing you along with us. Baby, I've been going nowhere lately. It's time to start all over and go for it. Starting with, like I said, Uptown Cheapskate, we have the item I'm wearing. So I got this top and I'm holding the receipt so I can tell you guys all the prices. But so the first item I got at Uptown Cheapskate was this top. So this is actually a Lululemon sports bra slash shirt. I'll insert the try on clip here so you can see it fully. But this top is from Lululemon and it, the quality is amazing. It's not pilling, it's not ripped, nothing. It's like new. And I got it for $16.14 and it is just so cute. I love the color. It's really like a fall color, but I feel like it could be so pretty to wear when we go to the Grand Canyon. So I'm super excited to wear it there. So yes, I love, love, love this Lululemon top. Okay, the next two items from Uptown are both black tops, but they're both really cute in different ways. So first we have this super cute cropped turtleneck top. So I really like that it's cropped. I've been looking for something like this. All of my turtlenecks are full length and they're cute, but sometimes I just want a cropped one just to wear with leggings and nothing else. So I found this one and it is ribbed. Let me show you guys the material. There you go. It is so nice. And the original brand is Express. And I got this top for $7.64. And I love how soft this one is. The only downside to this one is that it cannot be dried in the dryer. So I have to hang it to dry every time. But I still love it. And it's so cute. I can't wait for you to see it in the try-on. My next top from Uptown Cheapskate, like I said, is also a black top. But it is originally from Misguided. And this one I actually got for $7.64. And it is so cute. I've never really had a top like this. But it's a satin black top that ties in the middle, which it does completely untie. And then it has a ruffle at the bottom and a little bit of flare on the sleeve. Nothing too crazy. But it is so cute on. And I think that I'm going to be wearing this when we go see Dancing with the Stars live in January. So that will be so pretty. And you guys will see it on the vlog when we do that. But I just love this top. It's so cute. And my final item from Uptown Cheapskate, it's kind of weird, but I'm just going to show you guys anyways, because who cares, um, is a bralette, and it's from Calvin Klein. So it's just like a t-shirt bra almost. It's really, really, really soft material, and just more comfortable than like a regular um, wire bra. So no wire, just really comfy and cute. So I got that brand new, which was really nice. So it still had like the original Calvin Klein tags on it and stuff. And I got that one for $10.19. So overall, we had such a fun time thrifting at Uptown Cheapskate and we got so many good items that I loved. So now we're gonna move into the next little thrift clip, which was going to Half Priced Books with Angelo. We had never been to the store Half Priced Books before and we went in and we just could not leave. Like. We kept saying we have to go, we have to go, we have stuff to do, and we just couldn't leave because it was so awesome. What can I do when a million things are running through? Million things I can undo. I just sleep walk, I just sleep talk. That's all I got. What can I say with a million things I can erase? Million people I can save. I just sleep walk, I just sleep talk. I'm gonna give you a quick thrift book. 
book haul, I guess, because I picked up four books from Half Price Books. While I was in the store, I did look up these books on Goodreads to see if they had good ratings and reviews. So if you don't use the app Goodreads, you totally should. It is such a nice app. You can put in the books you want to read, currently reading, have read. You can rate them. You can read other people's ratings, which is what I love to do because I really trust the ratings on Goodreads. So definitely get the app. If you don't have it, we can be friends. Here's my book haul. I got four books and I got these all from the clearance rack and I didn't save the receipt but none of them were more than four dollars. Two of them were four dollars and two of them were three dollars. Just don't know which two. But I will go through them really quick. This first one I've never heard of before but it's called Beautiful Ruins by Jess Walter and I think it's set, yeah it's set in Italy so I think this will just be a really fun read. I've never read a book set in another country but I don't know why I haven't because how beautiful is this cover? Like. I love it. So I'm really excited to read this one. This is like not one of those books that has like a panel in the back that you can read about it. It's just like quotes from people who have read it. So I don't exactly know what it's about, but I just think that it's going to be good. Had good ratings, like I said, so. Okay, the next book I picked up is called Cocktails for Three by Madeline Wickham. So this is what the cover looks like. Can you see it? And this book says it's about three girls who work in the same office and whenever the office gets really hectic and crazy, they all three go out for drinks and talk about it and it says that each of the three has a secret. And when a chance encounter at the cocktail bar sets in motion an extraordinary change of chain of events, each one will find her biggest secret revealed. So I don't really know what this is about, but another one that I just thought was fun and I love a good like fiction novel that's like romance mystery things like that so i thought this was a cute one and i think that one might be set in london but i'm not really sure and now we have two more so the next one was one of my wish list books which i think is so exciting to find like one of the books you've been wanting on the clearance shelf so this one is called the perfect couple by ellen hildebrand and if you're familiar with Ellen Hildebrand, she also wrote a book called 28 Summers, and I think that's probably her most famous one, and one I also want to read, but this one was on clearance, so I had to get this one first. The little description for this book talks about um, a bride running down the main street in Nantucket, um, running away from her wedding, so I think it's just going to be a really interesting story. I don't know a lot about it, but I'm really excited to read it. And my final book. This one is like a completely different genre than those three. I feel like those three are kind of like summery, light beach reads. I think this is a little heavier. So this is called Child of the River. And I just finished reading Where the Crawdads Sing, which is easily like my favorite book I've ever read, which is surprising because it's a genre I don't really usually read. But this Child of the River seems like it might be similar. This talks about a young girl who's born into poverty in South Africa. So I think it's going to be a really, really good read. So those are my four books. And I wanted to stock up on books before we go on our ski trip, which will be in Vlogmas. So stay tuned. But I want to have lots of reading ready for that trip. Now we're already on to our final store, which is Goodwill. Cheyenne and I went to Goodwill and we had such a fun time in there. We were laughing so hard. We just had the best time. So roll the clips. I'm here with Cheyenne and this Goodwill's popping. So first things first, we have to tell you guys that there is a guy that works here that talks to Cheyenne every time. And at first it was like casual, right? It was just like, how are you? I like your name or whatever. Yeah. Nothing crazy. Yeah. Here's your Goodwill shoppers card. Yeah. Kind of, frequent. Kind of we have the frequent shopper cards. So yeah. that's cool. And then the last time Cheyenne and I came together, we saw him and I didn't feel like he recognized you then, but apparently yeah, he did. Yeah. I was like maybe but like you couldn't really tell you yeah know? we had masks on we're like i don't think he recognized cheyenne and we were together so we didn't think mm -hmm. so and then cheyenne went alone and tell us what happened it was seriously like a week ago too so this is embarrassing <laughs> that i'm back already but as soon as i walked in the door he was like hey you haven't been here in a while <laughs> how are you and i was like oh no like i need to drive off the side of the road already <laughs> now on the way home because he, knows he recognizes you. me and he was like hey what's your number I'm like, <laughs> Uh, oh no, I don't know what to do. So then I gave it to him and oh, uh, so then I, yeah. He hasn't texted me though, but he's here. I was really hoping he wasn't gonna be here. <laughs> so yeah, we pulled up and Cheyenne was like, I hope he's not here. And I was like, I hope he is. <laughs> because I need to see this go down. I looked in and I saw him. He wears like a face shield instead of a mask. So that's how we knew. His name's Hunter. <laughs> 
Hunter. Let me go in and say hi to Hunter. Hunter from Goodwill, if you're watching this, what's up? I have so much social anxiety. <laughs> if somebody talks to me in a store, I am gonna die. I could feel how hot I was getting. <laughs> you're probably like beat red and sweating. Yes. No wonder he didn't text you. <laughs> It's gonna be fun, you guys. So now we're gonna go into Goodwill and I'll definitely film and maybe Hunter will be in the video. We'll see. because I normally don't do like accessories or that kind of thing from Goodwill but could not pass this up I found this super cool vintage travel backpack situation it's amazing so it is called the brand is called travel smith and it has like a little airplane embroider on it let me see if I can show you guys so it unbuckles on the front it has a pocket here and then you open it up and it has a zipper pocket, a big pocket, a small pocket within there, and then a large zipper pouch. And then it is just huge. I have a couple things in here from this morning, but it is just the biggest bag ever. And then also on the sides, it has these cute little pockets that snap closed. You can put your keys in your phone, which is what I did. And I can only say so much about a backpack, but I just think it's the cutest thing ever. And also, you can unclip the straps and then tuck them into this little zipper pouch and zip it shut so it's just a handle bag and no longer a backpack so versatile we love it anyway i just love this bag and the best part is that it was two dollars and 99 cents so we love that here are the final two items in my haul these are both still from goodwill but they are so cute so the first one i picked up i thought it was really adorable but I also didn't think I could pull it off and when I tried it on Cheyenne and I decided that I had to get it because it's so cute so I found this tank polo kind of shirt and it is cropped on me and it's just let me show you guys the material it's just a regular polo material not a lot to say about it but a white cropped polo and it is so adorable I think it's definitely more of a summer piece but I'm wondering if it could be cute later with a turtleneck, like my cropped one. I haven't tried it yet, but I feel like it could be really cute. So you'll see how cute this is in the try-on. And if I didn't already say, that top was $4.29. And last but not least, we have our final item of this haul, which is a sweater. And it is a super nice, super thick J. Crew sweater that I found at Goodwill. Also $4.29, but the quality is amazing. I am a little bit upset because I'm just now realizing that it's navy blue and not black. And I hoped and thought that it was black, but it's okay. So this is what it looks like. It's really quite large for me. And it has elbow patches, brown like leather elbow patches, which are so cute. And it's just really cozy and oversized. I got it in a size large, so it does fit a little bit big on me, but it is so cute. That is going to be everything for today's thrift haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed the thrift with me footage that I kind of put in between from each store because I feel like that's a fun little addition to a haul and maybe a little less boring to like break it up throughout. So let me know in the comments if you guys like that. Also let me know in the comments if you like thrifting and what's your favorite thrift store because I'm going to need some new thrift stores soon. I'm running out like I've been everywhere. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're enjoying Vlogmas and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.